Mirror readers unimpressed with Harry and Meghan's Nigeria tour, very little about Invictus. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have arrived back in America after their fleeting 72-hour tour of Nigeria to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, and we asked Mirror readers what they thought of the Sussex's mini-royal jaunt. As part of their three-day excursion, the pair visited a secondary school in Abuja to open an event on mental health, and Harry played a game of sitting volleyball with injured servicemen. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The Duke and Duchess also spoke at a reception which had been organized by the Nigerian military's chief of defense staff, while Meghan co-hosted a women's leadership event, where she referenced Nigeria as her country following a DNA test. She told audience members, Every single moment that I hear anyone talk about what it means to be a Nigerian woman, it is the most flattering thing to be in that company, they concluded their trip with a visit to the Lagos Polo Club to watch a charity match in aid of Nigeria, Unconquered, an organization that supports and uplifts injured veterans. Harry and Meghan hailed their tour as fantastic, adding it will be the first of many memorable trips. Royal expert Dr. Pauline McLaren from Royal Holloway University of London, backed this response, claiming that the visit had gone exceptionally well. She added, There seems to have been great delight in Meghan's revelation that she is 43% Nigerian, and fans there are now referring to her as Nigeria's new princesses. While Harry and Meghan stepped down from firm duties in 2020, it has been suggested that the event resembled an unofficial royal tour. Royal author Tom Quinn told The Mirror that William is absolutely furious about the royal stint, while Charles is said to be angrier than anyone has ever seen him. He added, What's really upset the apple cart is the fact that the Nigerians treated Meghan and Harry as if they too thought this was an official tour, all the signs were there as the couple were greeted with dances, receptions, visits to schools and charities. We asked Mirror readers if they were interested in following Harry and Meghan's Nigeria tour, and a whopping 92% said no. Around 2,940 people voted in our poll, and a hefty 2,712 said they were not keeping up to date on the Sussex's antics. Voicing their thoughts in the comments, one reader penned, if they handed all titles and were removed from line of succession and just did real charity work it would be more interesting. Invictus was a favorite of mine but not any more. I haven't heard a word about any veterans, it's all about Meghan and her clothes. A second echoed, not in the least bit interested in them. They no longer do royal duties, they live abroad, they slated the British people as well as his family, then moan because they're not welcomed back here. Face up to reality. While a third shared, the Netflix holiday tour. It was cringeworthy on day one and got worse. The whole thing was staged and false. It was good to see that the Nigerian women speaking at their event were so articulate and intelligent. It was allegedly to talk about Nigeria hosting the Invictus Games at some point but there was no real promotion of that. Whether you like them or not is not the point, the trip was weird. They are two American private citizens being treated as if they are statesmen. Our respective countries want monarchy, but they are not working on behalf of any country and in America unless you have a degree you earned, we will address you as plain old Harry and Meghan, expressed another. A fifth posted, no not really. This was supposed to be about Invictus, not Princess Meghan, while another agreed, I was not interested in this tour but found it intriguing the fashions she chose to wear. Also, there was very little reporting on Invictus.